Hey, it's me, Tony Lee. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2. I'm so happy that you're here. Today, we're gonna head down to Kenny Bugport for the prelude. It starts at 5.30. It's where they're gonna light the tree. I actually just heard on the radio that Kenny Bugport was rated the number two Christmassy town in HGTV. which is freaking awesome it really is just such a christmas town like whenever you see the picture of like the tree in the middle of a town with like snow around it and like it's kind of like a street that's kenny bunkport which is really awesome that was the very first town that i went to when i came to maine because i have a friend that is from there hopefully i'll get to see her she's in I'm gonna head down there it's at 5 30. today i'm just gonna be working from home so North Spore, you know, like I said, I work remotely sometimes. Today, I'm just gonna stay here because no one goes in the office on Fridays. I don't really know what I would do or pack. I could, yeah. So I'm gonna stay here, work, and then we're gonna head down there and have a great day. It's nice working from home. Like I said yesterday, I can cook while I'm here. So we'll see what I have for lunch, but we're just gonna work away. We're also growing mushrooms again this year got these blue oysters this will be their second flush i already flushed them previously and they it's beautiful like got a beautiful flush off of them and so i'm hoping for a second one of them in this little tent it's a little sprayer like the window some ambient light it's good getting another pot of coffee because i just love the smell of it you know this is a caramel macchiato brew, and I got it at TJ Maxx, but it's really good. It makes the house smell so good. So good. Okay, I just ordered <laughs> some tops. I'm also watching YouTube, but I just ordered these tops from Free People. I've been looking at them for a while, and I was like, why not? because I wear these two long sleeves so much and I was trying to get it before the brown one sold out, but the brown one sold out, so sadly. Maybe I can find it somewhere else, but it's just the Ricky top. I have it in this green color and I love it. So I decided to order it in some more. This is the one that I wanted. So freaking cute, but I got the gray. I just love layering, like I love layering these like mock turtlenecks with just t-shirts big layer girl okay so it's like 11 30 i get to take like an hour break for lunch because i have like 30 minutes for lunch and then i get two 15 minute breaks that are just like to combine and make it one hour i'm going to actually make a really nice lunch just because i don't have anything but like good ingredients it would be a nice dinner but i thought that i would talk to you guys about why i am no longer vegan or like trying to disassociate myself with being a vegan because i just don't think that it's right for me to say that because i eat eggs and i just like to know where my food is coming from but i'm just gonna make some potatoes and poke some holes and making like some smashed potatoes i'm gonna fork them this is my our place mat pan really cute sprayer okay. and when it's a stick this is a reusable thing i got out of tj maxx so worth it you just put olive oil in it and you like and it's a sprayer okay so i'm just gonna fork these but i wanted to talk to you guys about why I no longer am vegan. I honestly went vegetarian first before I ever went vegan. And I wasn't like unaware of the concept. Both of my brothers have been vegan and I was like, I don't need that. I love meat. I'm like, you know, like it still rings true. I definitely just became very much aware in college of the health effects of the way that meat can harm your body. 
And in that sense, it's more so now that I know it's the way that we raise the meat and it's the way that we farm that is what is harmful um, that we put in our bodies. Cause you know, like you hear the argument all the time, like, oh my gosh, like hunter and gatherers, we've been doing this for so long. And it's like, yeah, we've been doing this for so long. And why did it all of a sudden change? And when you look at it, it's just the fact that we started putting more chemicals into the food that we eat and we started processing it more so that we could make more money off of it. You know, we turned food as something that we valued into a profit. And I think that's what has happened with a lot of things is we've just like turned them into profits. Like everyone wants to make money. So what they can like buy something to show off. And yeah, it's just like, you know, I mean, everyone has their own reasons. I hope this is an okay potato. But yeah, it's just come to my attention that it's not necessarily the type of food that you're eating, but it's how the food is raised, it's how it's grown. That is what matters and what you're putting in your body. So I just try and know where my food comes from, you know? I try and get eggs from people that I know. So I go to the farmer's market. That's really the best way to eat, I think. So I'm just saying that I eat local now. My mom loves that. I just try and eat locally to wherever I am, you know, if I'm here in Maine, like I'm on the coast, baby, like give me the oysters and the fucking seafood and you know, the lobster, like I don't really love lobster. <laughs> I like fat it a couple times and I don't love it. If it's fried, I'll eat it. <laughs> but haddock is the fish here that like a lot of people eat. It's delicious, it's really good. Tuna, oh my gosh, you can go and catch tuna out there. But like, I'm not eat, I'm not gonna go to Virginia where I am from and order seafood because I know that it is not coming from any sort of river close by <laughs> or any sort of like fresh body of water. And as it, it shouldn't be, the population there is too big. It's just not efficient in that sense. And that's when you like have these cattle farms and beef farms and things like that that are overtaking the area. Um, not specifically like that area, but like the industry and like the grocery stores taking that over and just ruining our bodies. That's really the problem is like, it's not, you know, grass raised, pasture raised. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just like not good. Like you don't want your cattle growing in a warehouse. It's not good. You want them out in a field and pigs and everything, you know, like that's what you want. And so that's what I'm just really learning. Like I think that your diet and life and everything is just a constant learning experience and I don't think that we should ever stop learning and that we should hold something as a right way or a wrong way because that's evolution right it's this evolving change that we can change and that we can adapt and we can grow and we can become beings and thrive and flourish in different environments and each individual can do that on their own that means that that TED talk is over we're gonna put these bad boys in the oven and they'll probably cook them for, I don't know, like 15 minutes. I just want them to get soft so I can smash them. Alexa, put a timer on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Would you like to begin your day with a positive affirmation from the My Daily Mindset Skill? Yeah. Welcome to My Daily Mindset from Health.com. Oh, this is like daily affirmation journey designed to empower your really mind and cultivate healthy thoughts. Let's get started. Are you ready to begin? Stop. <laughs> Welcome to continuing the daily affirmation journey. I didn't do it. You're always here to set your mind up for success. That's what I want to watch. Week in my life. Moving vlog. Erin, I don't know how you say her last name, Croix. I really like watching her because she surfs. And I did look at the surf and I'm thinking about going on Sunday. That would be a good day. Griffin would be off work. We could go early in the morning and like have a good day surfing all day. Honestly, I kind of want to look at the like water temp and see if maybe, I don't know if I need to go and get gloves yet. It's just like if the swell isn't like continually coming and you're just sitting there, it gets really cold. 
so we might have to go and get some gloves. I also just need to find a, a thicker suit so that I can continue to surf. I only have a 4.3, it's only gonna last me so long, but yeah. I'm gonna make some potatoes and then along with that I'm going to make some asparagus and a portobello mushroom. Now we're getting smashable. Okay, good stuff. So I think I might start cutting the asparagus. I'm gonna cook it home. So I have to get the oil in there and it's even. I just washed my mushroom. I'm drying it. I mean, a lot of water will come out when you put it on, but I'm just going to season it with some old steak sauce. I'm just heat it up the butter. I'm just going to add literally like, some herbs. I love parsley and oregano. Always my go-to time. Oh yeah, they're getting like grilled. Honestly, I'm so proud of myself and this meal. I'm gonna eat it, watch Brooke, and we'll probably head to Kenny Bun. I'm not kidding, this meal. I can eat every day for the rest of my life. It is so good, so simple. Like, mm, I love mushrooms. I can't normally eat this because Griffin does not. So I'm gonna have to start making more elegant lunches for myself. <laughs> so grateful that Griffin's sister brought us some treats. So I'm gonna try them. It's a lemon frosted something looks really good I wonder if I should heat it up cool uh, might heat it up it's like a lemon something we'll see hmm. wow That's good. I think heating it up was the right decision. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's bomb. 
Dot-com. Mm, I'm good, but we can 10 out of 10. It's so good. I love the lemon. Mm. They used to have a nice, like, arching bridge that went across. Oh, wait, no, I did see the bridge. I think there was, like, one year. Well, I think so. So then, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. They have a bunch still. Uh, that's the horse rides, I think. Isn't it? No, that's just the new taxi ride. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. They look really good. Oh, eight plus. Is. She likes them. That thing's real nice. Yeah. What do you want to go ahead and get that one for her? We do have a bucket. Like, we have the trash bucket we can put them in. Uh, you know, the trash bucket that we use to pick up trash? She's super picky about it. I don't know. Maybe Julia could. Maybe while I'm at work, you and Julia could um, come take a peek. Well, I could. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. that's not gonna get it. And that's just to commute. Your if Quinn can out spirit Rudy here. Hello, my name is Quinn. At this time of year, and we're so grateful to have him with us to help count down the light of the park. Now the most we've been waiting for. All right, guys, you're gonna help me. All right, folks, here we go. Starting from the
just carry it back. Yeah. We would just walk straight up the street. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> wow, look at it over there. It's so <laughs> So I ended up going to the South Portland Tree Lighting and not Kenny Bunk Foot, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll see Carly another time. Um, got a tree though, which is pretty epic. Griffin's carrying it back, which was nice. Can't wait for the pond to freeze in South Portland so we can skate on it. Are you sure you don't want me to carry the end? I can, you know, do it like a... What is it? Teamwork? <laughs> is it teamwork? You could carry it like, um, like a person, you know? That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, you're good. You have the right way. Thanks. I guess a crosswalk. In the other person's tree. We're almost there. We can walk through the apartment, you know, underneath. <laughs> Is Owen um, working right now? Julia said that she went and watched Murray. She prob yeah, she probably fed him too. So that's good. You might be able to fit under that. My legs are cold. That was really cute. Well, on the inside. Yeah. Well, I can imagine it's a lot harder to do the outside. Just because you have to deal with like people like us. Whose dog is that? I don't know. Probably just some stray one. That's so funny. Just Poochie's having a good time. Out there. Oh, I love digging. I love digging. No I'm gonna dig a big no hole. Don't say no to me. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Are you up to the end? This is so funny. Oh, off the wall, end of 15. Well, Griffin just went to go and get the taco trio. So, what we're having for dinner got a burrito, and we're just gonna chill. We got our tree, so that's exciting. The vlog has not been going as planned, and I think that's okay. That just goes to show, like, life for me really never goes as planned, and I just have to adapt and move forward. And I think I, I do a pretty good job. I think he's back! We've got no trio! Two mango, two verde. <laughs> Cutie. Is it cold out there? Burr. We both got burritos. The meat swag.
match. <laughs> So many noodles. So it's 7.55 and we're getting into bed. So happy Vlogmas, day two. Coming on to your live tomorrow with day three. And yeah, happy Vlogmas.